We're joined now by George Stephanopoulos and Jake Tapper in Washington and Jonathan Carl here in New York. And Jake, let me start with you. John Berman's reporting makes a couple of points that key groups uh, for the president that voted with him a year ago either stayed home or, or uh, voted the other way. And also we had uh, the president campaigning for the Democrats in Virginia and New Jersey. So from whence can the White House take solace? Well, they take solace in the fact that majorities of the voters in Virginia and New Jersey, according to exit polls, say that President Obama was not a factor in how they voted. And, uh, but they do know that they have some work to do looking at those numbers of how many voters are concerned about the economy and, of course, all those voters that didn't turn out. And, of course, they're looking at that New York House race, which they say Republicans made a national referendum and they picked up the gauntlet and agreed with it and won. Charlie. All right, Jonathan Carl, let me turn to you. What effect do those Republican victories in New Jersey and in Virginia have on the Republicans in Congress? Do they just, uh, does everybody sh shuffle this off or do the Republicans become emboldened as they go after the president on health care and some other issues? And what's it do to Democrats in the Congress? Republicans are certainly emboldened, but if you listen to Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid, they'll say it means nothing. They'll point out that in the two congressional races last night, the Democrats were two for two, winning in New York, like Jake mentioned, also another special election in California. But two real reasons for concern, Charlie. First, if you look at moderate Democrats who already had reason to be nervous about voting for, for health care reform, in Virginia, you had four Democrats who watched the Republican gubernatorial candidate win their districts by big double-digit margins. They're going to be even more nervous about that vote. And then the other issue is look at this exit poll in New Jersey. I mean, uh, yeah, New Jersey. Yeah. Health care reform. Fourth issue, dead last when voters were asked to name their top issues in this election. So if you need momentum to get something passed, that's not exactly a good start. All right, Jonathan Carl, let me turn now to George Stephanopoulos. George, that leaves us with what overall lessons? We love elections, and we <laughs> tend to overanalyze, I know, off your elections. But what lessons can the two parties come out of this with? A couple of lessons that we learn in almost every election, Charlie. Number one, especially now in a country where independents outnumber Democrats and Republicans, capturing the center. Uh, in the election is critically important for different reasons. Uh, both the Republicans in both New Jersey and Virginia did that. And then you look up at that race in upstate New York, when the conservative candidate pushed the Republican out of the race and she endorsed the Democrat, that left the center to the Democrats. Secondly, in hard times, the economy is always the number one issue and voters almost always punish the party that's in. This year, the results were mostly localized, but next year, the Democrats have something to worry about. They're going to be defending majorities in the Senate, majorities in the House. If the economy is still in tough shape, they're going to have a tough night. All right. George Stephanopoulos and John Carl, Jake Tapper, thanks to all of you.